Alright guys, just wanted to do a video on power flushing a heating system. So today I've come to a property that's had an issue with um, insufficient heat coming from the radios. So they're having really difficulty with the radios heating up fully. So some of them are sort of just heating halfway up or you know just not very good at all. So checking out the system. I can see it was in a really bad state. So just to show you what we're dealing with, like the color of the water that's in your, or in this heating system is virtually like very black almost, you know, you can't even see through it. That should be crystal clear. Um, it's basically, this is a filter, which is picking up all the dirt and iron and sludge and everything that builds up in the system and it's just literally sticking to it. It's like a magnet. Uh, it stops it going back in the heating system. So, this here is my machine, which basically connects to my heating system with all these pipes. So you can see all these different pipes coming off of the back of the unit. And that literally just feeds back into here, you follow this, and then into, basically I've got it connected below the boiler. So we've got a valent combi boiler um, with radiators uh, on the system. So all I've done is I've literally just cut the pipes that come off the boiler, uh, which is also this one here. I've cut that pipe just there, I don't know if you can see it, just there. So um, yeah, and I've connected my hoses, which is my two in and out or flow and return, which basically loops around from that machine here and basically pumps water through the whole system and helps to cleanse it. So basically, effectively what I'm doing is just breaking down all the sludge in the system, which is that horrible dirty water. And, and then I'm literally going to put some acid in which is this chemical here. Pass that in the cleaner, cinnamon. So I'm gonna pour that in, which I'll just do now. Just pour it in here. Alright, that's that. So that this bottle here is good is good about for about 10 radios. So the system here has only got six radiators, so that's plenty of chemicals to go through the system. So I let that flush around for a little while. Um, normally the process can take anywhere from normally a minimum of two hours, but if it's a really bad system, it could take you know the best part of the day. So um, yeah, but this system here is quite bad. It's not terrible. I've seen a lot worse, but it's you know it's definitely not in a good shape. So we let that go around for a while, and that will help to break down everything in the system and yeah and then once I've done with that I empty it all out and put fresh water in and then the system will be clean and more efficient. Alright, see you in the next one.